Hey, hi there. Hello, everyone. Yes. So good morning. And as per my promise, I'm here. I'm always there on time. And it's exact 10 o'clock. Please settle down or we will. Uh, hope my audio is OK. If my audio is OK, please type it OK. If my video is clear, please type it clear. Thank you. OK, so well, guys, we are working on today very important factor. It's not only important for your English communication, it's important for everything. So do you know what is this? This, sir, watch, I know this is a watch. But try to understand that this is uh, what we have. This is not a watch, this is a time. And that is what we have. I remember a very nice quote in Hindi. I will translate that into English also afterwards. I can speak only Hindi, English, and Marathi. All of you just imagine time is talking to you. Time is talking to you, and time is saying that Agar tum mujhe barbaad karoge, to main tujhe barbaad karunga. That is that is time. In, in English, it goes as if you waste me, I will waste your life. If you waste me, I will waste your life. Are you doing that? Are you wasting your time? And if you are doing that, I'm sorry, not only communication, you forget everything in life. If anything is important for me in my life is time. Nothing is more important, no money, nothing. First and most important thing is my time. And I request you to give your time for this 30 minute session. This 30 minutes of investment will help you to live 40, 50 years of a happy life, which I will share, like how I changed myself, how I changed my life. In short, I will tell you. And then I will tell you about the time management and how to plan a day for English communication and improving yourself. In the year 1999 to 2002, my life was pathetic, horrible. I was a failure, worst communication skills, I and mean, forget communication skill. I wasn't able to even talk properly. My academics, they were not good. I couldn't get a good job. Everything was in shambles, all the big problems. But in the year 2002, I decided to make one big change. And that change was take hold of my time, take control of my time. And from that day onwards, I stopped wasting my time. And today here I am, 2023, around after 20, 21 years, I'm here. You can ask my wife, you can ask my friends, you can ask my colleagues where I was and where I am. No. I'm not talking about money and all, but I'm telling you that the day I started realizing the importance of my time since 2002 and 2023 today, everything had changed in my life. And that is what I want to tell you here. First thing, now, if you want to be very good communicator, first thing is you must see, understand, you must have the clarity. You must have the clarity. What? exactly you want out of life. Understand what exactly you want out of life. I repeat again, what exactly you want out of life. Understand, 80, 90 years, thank God, inshallah, if it is given to us, <laughs> we live 80, 90 years. What do you want out of this 80, 90 years of time, which God has given you? That you decide. That is clarity. Hmm? Of course, we need good health, good relationships. I'm talking about what is your purpose in life? What do you want to be in life? My purpose in life is very clear. I want to be a communication coach. I want to be a confidence coach. I want to build one of the best institutes in India where emotional personality, mental toughness, communication skill, all these things are taught, which are not taught in schools and colleges. My clarity is there. Now, when I have clarity, what I do, I don't do anything else. I only focus on what I want out of my life. That is the clarity. What do you want? 
Okay, I want a good job. Fine. Which skills are required? Technical skills and communication skills. Yeah, get that clarity. Okay, remove the distractions out of life. Today, our problem is we have a lot of options. And one of the biggest distraction is YouTube. You are watching me on YouTube. But if YouTube is not used properly, it will be a biggest distraction. And what we do is, I think two to three hours, some people watch YouTube videos. And they say that I'm not wasting time. I'm watching videos to improve my communication skills, to improve my English. Understand, you can't be better communicated by watching. Watching is done only to understand the methods. Okay, one, two, three, four methods. You understood the methods. Now you don't need to watch. Now you need to practice. Now you need to do. Now you need to perform. Now you need to go there on the stage. Go there and speak. Go there and perform. Go there and fail. Go there and make mistakes. You can't be a good swimmer by watching videos on swimming. You have to plunge in the water. You have to get there. You have to get there. You can't be a better fit person by watching videos on fitness on YouTube. You watched once. Okay, I understood this is the step. Fine. Now do it. Same thing applies for communication also. Remove the distractions around. That distractions will save your time. I repeat again, in a day, 12 hours are available for you. For example, leaving all the daily chores and other, other things. How much clarity you get? The more clarity you have, the more time you get. And if you remove the distractions, you will get two to three hours available for you. Many people tell me that, sir, I don't have time. The reason is definitely YouTube is the reason. Of course, social media is also there. Remove all those things remove all those things, reduce all those things, you will get ample space. It's in this way. Just imagine. Just imagine. Your room is full with material. A lot of stuff is there. It's cluttered. And now you want to keep something there. You have to remove some old... Do you, do you have that old uh, room where we dump everything there? And it is so full that there is no space to keep anything new. You keep on dumping and the stage comes where it, the room is full. Now you do one thing, the same thing has happened with your time and your day also. Remove all that clutter, that YouTube videos and the vlogs and the Netflix and Amazon Prime and all that stuff. Remove that and make it clean. Uh -huh. I know what I'm going to watch on YouTube. Uh -huh. I'm very particular about when I go on YouTube, I know what I have to watch. I will not be just going on YouTube and click every video randomly and keep on watching all the useless videos. That's the most important thing. Hope you are there. Hope you're enjoying. Again, uh, one day one of my friends was telling me this, which I want to share with you. He's a press reporter. And we were talking about how we have distractions around us, the social media and all, all these things. And he said a very nice line. He said that, sir, this is not new, actually. This is Darwin's law. Survival of the fittest. He said that today also, and millions of years ago also, those who are fit for this life, they will survive. But during those days, fittest means physical strength. But today, fittest means your ability to manage your time. If you can, if you are fittest, fittest means if you can remove all that distractions, all that garbage from your life. And if you are if you can do that, you are fittest. Now you are fittest to live and excel in your life. That is survival of the fittest. And if you are not fit, if you are not doing that, if you aren't able to decide where you are going to invest or waste your time, if your time is being utilized by someone else to sell their products, to show their videos to you, if this is happening, then you you are a victim. You do not have charge of your life. You, someone else is ruining and using your time and getting more successful and richer. That, that will happen with YouTube. That will happen everywhere. Your time is valuable to everyone, those who want to sell their products and consume your time. 
be careful if you want to survive then be careful make these changes remove the distractions stop watching unuseless videos can you do that that's the million dollar question here next point is there now after that develop a system and a discipline develop a system and discipline means what i'll tell you now to be a good communicator first thing all of you understand the communication will not just flow from somewhere else first there should be inputs inputs means what consumption you have to consume lot of lot of lot of english consume means what consume means you have to read a lot 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 read a lot read as if your life depends on it read as if reading is oxygen for you read 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 that's what i'm saying decide the activities now okay my communication i got my clarity okay now how to improve my communication first step reading first step is reading i want to read clarity make the list second thing my vocabulary development my vocabulary notebook second clarity okay this is what i have to do my vocabulary development third clarity my listening the more i listen the better clarity okay i'm going to listen podcast audio book fine written third point written fourth point very important fourth point speaking the more i speak the better i get write it down the more i speak the better i get write it down there now these are the four things you have to do about your communication now the thing is develop that system develop the habits develop the schedule now how to develop already i have told you now you have some free time now as you have reduced your youtube reduced your social media reduced your gossiping with friends reduced checking whatsapp status of others reduced yeah how much time you have left now you are working in office fine you are you are you are a student fine 10 hours go in that now 2 to 3 hours you have now let us plan how to do that understand i will tell you parkinson's law what is parkinson's law about time management he says that your work expands as per the time allotted to you to complete that work let me explain you suppose someone tells you that do this work in 2 hours it will take 2 hours but someone tells do the same work in 3 hours you will do it in 3 hours or if someone do this work in 1 hour you will take 1 hour your time expands your work expands as per the time given to you so be careful about what okay i am working in my office i have to do my this project work fine if you decide that i will finish in 4 hours it will take 4 hours if you decide i will finish in 3 hours so in this way you have to see are you just expanding your giving more time than necessary this does not mean compromise on quality but but be careful about this now decide that slot okay reading which slot i should read fix the time otherwise you will never get time which time morning time okay morning time morning time i get up at 6 o'clock fine 6:30 i will start my reading i know you will say that sir i start but i stop afterwards wait i have a solution so okay 7 o'clock or 6:30 i am going to read okay start reading that but this does not mean that keep it rigid now this is very important rigid means i will i must read at 6:30 it will not happen sometimes at 6:30 maybe your mama will call you your wife will call you some emergency is there and even sometimes you will miss because you will oversleep i understand that this we have to consider and be flexible there now how to be flexible? okay i am not able to read at 6:30 fine but i am going to read this must be rigid when i am going to read i can change how much time okay 45 minutes okay i can't read 45 minutes today my boss has given me a deadline okay 10 minutes but don't do that mistake ha huh? don't do that mistake that today i will not read just now before starting our youtube live session i was reading this book the mountain is you and yesterday to be very frank with you i did not read anything today's day was very hectic so i before just now i finished my another batch online batch and at 
I started reading this. So it, it got me finished these many pages. Bookmark is there. But I will never let this reading stop. Five minutes I will read, but I will read. Why this is? Because this will make you feel good. Yeah. Understand your every behavior, listen to me. Your every behavior is creating feelings inside you. And if your behavior is not as per your standards, which you have set, then you start feeling low about yourself. You feel like you don't have that. You feel like you are not disciplined. You feel like you are like a failure. So do it. Five minutes, do it. Ah, now to do that, if you're working in office or college, keep this book in your bag. In your bag, there must be tiffin, water bottle, book, and vocabulary note. Do you have that in you? You know, uh, two days before I went to one college, I saw, have you observed? These kids today, I mean, these youngsters who go to college, they have one sack. And in that sack, nothing is there. One book, one notebook. Even Tiffin is not there. They will eat in canteen. Go back in uh, fifth standard. So many books. Now in engineering, one book, one notebook, all in one. What is this? In fact, in fact, you should have less books in school during those KG and second standards and third standards. Now you should have more books actually. So even if you are working, call it my school bag, my school bag. What I mean to say, when I say school bag, I, it means I'm learning every day. One of the most important qualities which I developed, it's a big secret, which you know. <laughs> it's a big secret which you know. Don't stop learning. I told you, 2002 to 2023 journey, I never stop learning a single day. I get goosebumps when I say this. Changed my life, guys. Changed my life, you know, from depression to a trainer. It's the, that's the reason why I get emotional when I speak about this. In your bag, if in water bottle, book and vocabulary notebook, you have to carry now. And whenever you get time, oh, in the lunch break, I got a time. Okay, I will do it for five minutes. Don't waste your time with others. Don't, don't go to that water cooler gossip. Don't go to canteen 10 times. Don't do that. Five minutes, no problem. Read a book. Five minutes, one page, okay. You will never get two hours. Sunday you will get. But every day, five minutes. Oh, in the in the lunch break, I got 10 minutes. Okay, read one page. Sir, I will I will lose the continuity. You will not lose anything. Just try and tell me. Write in the comments. Keep it. Keep it in your, in your vocabulary notebook there. Now, the second point is when you're reading, when you come across a new word, vocabulary notebook is handy. Take your pen. And return. Do not use any gadget or WhatsApp or anything. No. No, no, no apps and nothing. Keep it. Write it down. Small change. Small change. Big result. Can I? Continuous and never-ending improvement. Continuous and never-ending improvement. Small change. Don't worry about all these things. One vocabulary, how many it is going to improve my vocabulary? Don't worry. Do this. Now, the next activity which you should infuse in is listening to a podcast. I have made very, very many videos on that. Listening to a podcast. My MP3 player was there. And now today, I have this Bluetooth. I always use this. I always carry with me. Always, 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 always. Uh, today, I'll tell you, at it's Sunday, I have to go for some shopping today. But while, when I go, I will be listening to my podcast. While waiting somewhere, I will be listening. My wife goes for shopping. I'm in my car. I don't waste my time. 
I play my podcast. I play my audio book. It can be anything, but listen a lot whenever you get time. Oh, I don't like to listen English. It's boring. Oh, that new song. Stop this now. Already I've told you, yeah, come on. Come on. That celebrity will launch his son, his daughter. Who's going to launch your career? We are middle class people. We are middle class people. Who is going to launch our career? Any film star is going to come. Any politician is going to come. You have to take care of your mama, daddy, wife, daughter. So come on. Listen music when you are tired. Don't listen so much music that you get tired. Stop that. Listen to a podcast. Well, you're, you're traveling. Listen to a podcast. Remember Sandeep Patil. Oh, Sandeep Patel told me. Remember that. You will not understand all the podcasts. Don't worry. You will not get the results quickly. I know. But start developing the system. Forget English. Forget English. Focus on how to develop your day. Take care of your day. I tell you. Take care of your day. English will be taken care of. Take care of your day. Forget about English and money and the package and all. Take care of your day. You should run the day. The day should not run you. I will ask you one question. How was your day? Most people give answer. It came and it went. I, I don't give this answer. I say it came and I made it count because this is the only day I will get in my life. Today is 25th of March. March is finished. January, February, March is finished. Guys, where are you? One fourth of the year is finished. 23 is finished. 24 will finish. This day will never come again. Be careful. This day will never come. You must have that Passion. Oh, I don't want to waste my time. Like I have. You can take anything from me. I will not give you my time. This does not mean I don't give time to my students. For my students, my time is always available. But time wasting? No. No time wasting. If my friends come for wasting time, I say no, no, no. Can you say no? That's very important. Learn to say no. I told you about reading, I told you about vocabulary, I told you about podcast. Now, most important thing is most important thing, speaking. And start from home. Use this five minute rule, five minute rule. Suppose you are at home. You are, you have woken up and you are having tea or coffee with your wife, with your children, or you are a college student. That five minutes, tell your mother, your father that I will speak in English with you. Tell them, I'm studying. It's a part of study if you are a student. And tell your husband, your wife that I want to improve. It's also a study. And for five minutes, no other language than English. Five minutes, can you do it? Start with five minutes. The most important thing. Start with five minutes. Okay. Now, you are at home, you are in college. In college or in your office. Find a nice English buddy, speaking buddy. We will talk in English. And most people will resent. They will not agree. Or initially they will agree, but after two days they will say, stop it. Hindi me bol. I will, I will complete that point. I will tell that point. Talk to your boss. Sir, can we communicate in English? We get permission, sir, for five minutes. Five minutes. Not more than that. And you will realize that, oh, that five minutes has become 10 minutes and now it's 15 minutes. Small changes, remarkable results. No need to start to two hours and three hours. Not small. Just push up. Just give a push. Do you remember in your childhood days, I, I used to travel by ST, ST, state transport buses. Do you remember? And that, that bus used to break down. Every now and then. And the driver conductor would tell, tell us, especially boys, huh? girls, you sit. Boys, go down, push. Have you done that? Raise your hand. So we would go down, keep the bag inside and push. And once it is pushed, that kind of machine, it would start and it would throw a lot of smoke. That push is required. Push. Push yourself. Push yourself. 
would do that. Right? No one is going to motivate you. No one. You have to motivate yourself. Because no one has interest in your success. Or failure. Yes, your mama, your daddy, your wife, your husband will have. But they are helpless because no one can motivate you. You have to motivate yourself to do this. And last point I'll tell you. You will say that, sir, I have listened to your session, YouTube live on time management and daily schedule. And I will start, but I will not be able to continue. Stop saying this nonsense. I'm sorry. Stop saying this. I can't do this. I don't have. This is, this is going to become a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because if you don't believe, you can't continue. How will you continue then? Tell me, tell me how you're going to continue then. You will never continue. Because first you don't believe you. If you don't believe in you, who's going to believe in you? Now, how to believe in you? That also I'll tell you. Start with small changes. Don't make a big change here. Sir, reading. Okay. Sir, I couldn't, couldn't do it at 6.30. Okay, do in the afternoon. Sir, I couldn't do it. Do in the evening. Sir, very busy. Don't miss. Don't miss. Sir, I missed today what I did. Just now I told you. I read whenever I got a time. So don't call yourself as a failure. Don't call yourself as useless because I am not following Sandeep Patel's method. This will again trigger guilt and you will never repeat the good behavior. Because when guilt is triggered, you again do the same old behavior. You should have regret. Regret means, oh, Sandeep Patil told me I have not done it. I will go back and I will do it. I will do it for five minutes. I will do it. And dear friends, when your clarity is there, you will definitely get time to do all these things. So don't be perfectionist here. Don't try to be perfectionist. Not required. Be flexible. Today, I'm not able to speak. My boss was not there. Okay. Oh, in my home, no one is supporting me. They're saying that stop your English. Okay, we can understand that. Because we get easily frustrated. We have low frustration tolerance. Easily frustrated. Try to understand. People will not support you. Your boss will say, Arey, yaar, stop your English. Hindi mein bol, tera English sab broken hai. They, they may say it. No one is going to, that's what I said, no one is going to support you. You have to support yourself. You have to find a way out of it. Your communication is poor, you have to way, find a way out of it. And last thing I'll tell you, last thing I'll tell you. Now stop looking for the methods, which is the best method. If you're following my channel, my methods, forget English, forget fluency. And just focusing on developing the methods. Just focus on developing the methods. Just focus on developing the discipline. Just focus on developing that system inside you. System inside you. And when you do that, all these things will follow. You don't chase English. Chase the system. Chase the discipline. Chase that time. Be careful about your time. I'm sure that you're going to work on this. I don't know how many of you will watch this video. Don't know. But those who will change, these people are fit for survival. I just now I said, this is survival of the fittest. You have to change. You have to change. Don't allow anyone to steal your time. Your time is your time. Don't allow anyone to steal your time. Your time is your life. People can steal your money, let them steal, but don't allow them to steal your time. All right, friends. All right. So come on, get going. Start the change. It's 10.30 right now. Okay, stop your YouTube now. Go and find a nice book. Start reading. Go and find your podcast. 
go and see which is a vocabulary notebook go and see in the afternoon take your lunch go and okay uh, my vocabulary okay go on that go on that you you want to clean something today sunday you may be cleaning your home or your car your bike your cycle whatever it is while doing that listen to a podcast oh you will not waste your time though physically you are cleaning you are listening a podcast in this way dear friends these small small changes will lead to bigger results in your life understand communication is not a one day or three month or six month it's a lifetime process and i'm happy i'm happy that i'm helping you out it was really nice talking to you thanks a lot work on this work on i'm getting your comments you're changing wow so nice so nice that you are changing you're improving all of it was pleasure speaking to you thank you bye bye